We do. We're going to learn how to add an e email address to, to the uh, to email address to this man laughing behind behind you. Go ahead. See, you're natural. You have to stop smiling. <laughs> See, you're a natural comedian. People laugh. Uh, go ahead. Right. We're going to learn how to add an email address to Apple address book. Okay. And then open a new tab in Safari. Okay. And then email the contents of that website. In to me. <laughs> to you. In an email. Okay. Yeah. So first you open Apple address book. Click on the little plus sign here. I didn't see the plus sign. Show me again. Okay. Click on the plus sign here. How did you open the Apple address book? The Apple address book should be in your dock. That's just the default location of most maps. It's where? In the dock, the Apple dock. Apple dock, okay. And where is the, oh, documents? No, the dock. It's in there? Okay. Wh which one did you click? One that says Apple, one that says address book. Address book, okay. Okay, got it. And click on the plus sign here. Okay, okay. Then a, a new card opens that lets you fill in the information. So here we'll fill in. Where's the plus sign? Oh, down there? Okay, plus sign. Okay, got it that this time. Okay. Then we'll fill in a name. Yeah. Uh, we'll put in an email. That's your email. Uh, you know. Okay. And then when we're done, we just then click edit and then save. How did you save? How did you save? I clicked edit. Oh, you click edit and that saves it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, so to send uh, the contents of a website, the entire web page, in an email message yeah. that the recipient receives it. Yeah. It doesn't see just a link, but the actual website and the message. Okay. So you go to your website. This only works in Safari on the Mac. Then uh, you click on the file, and then you choose mail contents. Uh, this page. Oh, map content of this page. Okay. So then open up the Apple Mail program and create a new message. And then you put your email. And you type in the person's email. And mine came up. And then click send. send. Perfect. And did you say it works only on Safari? Only on Safari. That's okay. a Safari only feature. That's a wonderful feature. I didn't know about it. Okay, and the third thing you're going to show me is. Um... So, uh, another way of um, looking at multiple web pages. Yeah. Um, is instead of having. Uh, several windows open at the same time that you're going to have to dig through to, to find. You can have all of your web pages in one window organized by tab. So it's great for doing research um, if you need to look at uh, multiple websites. So show me one. So you have one window open, one Safari window, or this works in any browser. And you, uh, and you hit, do what? This works in any web browser. Okay, and what do you do? And you hit, Command T. Command is here? Yeah. Command? Command T. And that will be right here in the, in the, mm -hmm. in the navigation. And yeah. then you can open the page. So now you see I have two tabs open, so then I can go to another page. That. And then you, you save it? Oh, you're going to access it. Yeah. Okay. This is your web page, huh? Yeah?
So how are you so going to say switch it? back. Okay. You can now switch to different web pages. You can open up another yes. command T. Another command T. Maybe go to uh, here. So now you have three pages open all in the same window. Okay, who do I have now? We have uh, we have Bistec, we, we have uh, Lincoln Trump. Mm -hmm. Oh, and why is it called home? It's a, a home. Oh, Lincoln Trump. Okay, so it should be the it should be coffee from home. Yeah. Okay. So you can call it the circle chunk if you want. Yeah, if you want, sure. That's just that's the way it's programmed. Okay. And then and then you have a third page that you're gonna put on the tab and it's uh de interlace the video. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. So thank you very much. Sounds like a great tutorial. Um, next time we'll tune in for our next series next week. Thank you. Yeah.